Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What's up you guys, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I've been wanting to film this video for the longest time and finally had the chance to sit down and do it. And it's going to be me testing out my new Canon G7X Mark II for the very first time. I've been having my eye on this camera for months and I really recently have just gotten bitten by the inspiration bug since I've been out here in San Francisco. I think it's just a combination of me literally being in the hub of innovation and creativity and also just me having a lot more free time. But I've been wanting to take my videos a lot more seriously and so because of that I've been looking to get another camera. The camera I use right now is the Canon T5. It's not great and I've just been using my iPhone to vlog which works fine but I really wanted to just like amp it up a bit and so I have my eye on this camera but it's really really expensive it's around $700 and I just didn't have the justification to fork up that kind of money so I was just planning on waiting until I sort of could save up to afford it but I ended up acquiring it just honestly in a twist of fate. Basically what happened is the other day I just came across a video of somebody that I recognized who worked at my company and I went through her channel and she has a substantial following. Her videos are amazing quality and I just got so excited and so I reached out to her and we grabbed lunch and I was telling her how I had been wanting the G7X but just couldn't afford it and she was like, oh do you want mine? She said, yeah, my Canon G7X is just collecting dust in my room. You can totally have it. I basically told her like, I don't want to just take it from you. Like I just can't take a camera like that from me, but I'll buy it off of you. And she basically offered it to me for 250 bucks. And so then I just bought it off of her and that's how I grabbed this camera. So some really cool features about the G7X Mark II that draws a lot of people into buying this camera is first of all, the flip out uh, viewfinder so you can easily see yourself. This one actually also goes backwards like this at a 45 degree angle. A great thing about this camera also is you can change the exposure manually to make it darker or brighter. There's also built-in image stabilization which means if you're moving the camera then the clip will still stay stabilized and smooth. Another awesome thing is that the screen is touch screen and you can actually touch different parts on the screen depending on what object you want to focus on so you can just quickly change the focus from one object to another. And the last cool thing about the Mark II that the original Canon G7X doesn't have is that it has built-in time lapse which is awesome. If you're traveling and you do vlogs that is a great clip to add into your video. All right, so this is me using the camera for the very first time. Right off the bat, I'm already so impressed. It just makes human subjects look amazing. The color is pretty true to color in real life. I feel like it's not making my skin look too orange or too dark or too bright. And it just makes your skin, it really smooths out your skin. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it really does make you look great. And uh, we could try out the brightness uh, exposure feature that I talked about earlier. So that's making it brighter and this is going darker so that's super useful because finding the perfect lighting when filming can be really really difficult and we also try focusing on different parts of this clip to see how the autofocus works so i'm just tapping on the touch screen right now focusing on the plant so you can see now i'm out of focus poster and back to me you can also see like if we bring it closer to my face it sort of just auto focuses um and then pulling it out one thing I do think I have to get used to is the camera's pretty zoomed into your face. So this is me holding out the camera as far as I can. And I still feel like it's pretty close to my face. Granted, I have pretty short arms. So definitely will have to get used to that and not looking at the viewfinder too because it's so tempting because your face is literally right there. And now I'm going to compare the camera to my uh, iPhone 8S, which is what I usually use to vlog. And then we can also compare it to my Canon T5, which is what I use to film normally my main channel videos. So here's a comparison right now. You can see between the iPhone and the G7X, the quality on the G7X is way better in terms of the color. First of all, everything is brighter. The coloring on the iPhone is way more gray and muted. So we can also test the built-in image stabilization. So this is me kind of just like shaking both cameras and the iPhone, obviously you can see is way shakier and the Canon 
barely shakes compared to the iPhone. And we can test out the sound quality as well. So this is the sound quality for my iPhone. I actually think the sound quality on the iPhone is not bad. So this is the sound quality on the G7X. I'm gonna have to edit and see which one I like better. And this is the sound quality on the T5. Really not great. Thinking of using the G7X just for normal sit down videos as well because I just really don't like the sound on the T5 and you cannot plug in an external mic. So, super impressed with the Canon so far and I just love the quality and how it looks. So that's gonna be it for my video today i'm really hoping that having this new camera is going to allow me to make way more and better content because i've been wanting to do that so much since i've been out here like i said really been bitten by that creativity bug and i want to do a lot more vlogs sit down videos and this camera is just going to make things so much easier can't wait another thing i forgot to mention there's actually built-in wi-fi on the camera so you can easily connect your photos to your phone and just send them over like that so hoping all those features will help me out a lot and i guess that's gonna be it for today and i'll see you in the next video bye